guy here will coming out to the game here is not gonna be Rick Ogano. It's gonna actually be his teammate here up against Ike here and doing an excellent kind of Kind of going to be interesting to see how Sonic is going to be able to handle another tuning main. He kind of came close here up against Marvel with Marco. But altogether, it's going to be coming up to how he felt against the matchup. Rickles is going to probably play a very different tuning uh, compared to Marco's. But, you know, that could definitely be one of the be one of the reasons why, like, Psychod could possibly win. It could be a, two, a different tuning where it's more towards Psychod's benefit or to his demise. Every every two link plays a little bit differently here. We'll see what Rickles can do so far. He's doing an excellent job trying to keep it close. Only 1% there is separating the two. And he's able to come back on the stage here. Get the back of here. Psychod looking for an aerial to kind of catch Rickles from being a little bit far on the town of the city platform. Right, okay. and I'm back. Sorry for the... Oh, nice. Good job, Nick. So that definitely goes to show that Rickles is a very different breed of Toon Link compared to Marco. Yeah. Able to get that jab lock there and he hit the stock. You can see that he understood Psychon did not go for the attack. Yep, we're back. Sorry for the quick little break. But yeah, no, uh, great stuff from Rickles getting that little jab reset, as you mentioned. Uh, but yeah, now Psychod back on the offensive here. Rickles sitting about 115. Toon Link is a lighter character, so could be dying here soon. But good stuff with that hero spin, piling on a little extra damage. Just Rickles getting some pretty interesting setups here. You can see the difference in gameplay style between him and Marvelous Marco, too. Like, they, they definitely go for different options. They're angling Boomerang differently, so it's kind of neat to see. It's kind of one of those things I've been enjoying a lot from Rickles so far. He even got a jab lock reset on that situation where he was able to get the stock so You can see that Rickles has his own knowledge of Toon Link and how to handle interactions with Toon Link. I like that patience here because he, can, he waits out the Aether. And you can tell Saika kind of wanted to catch Rickles for over approaching. That's a situation where Marco kind of went for a lot. Yep, that Aether going to be able to close out that stock right there. But Rickles getting a nice little 83% uh 9 well 93 extra credit before i actually taking a hit uh so super good stuff yeah though it's definitely a bit of a wake-up call for psychot i think just yeah you're, you're just dealing with one tomb link for so long and now you got a, such a different play style but right now got some good advantage state here getting those forward airs working sending uh wrinkles off stage again and again in the back air almost getting a stock early oh my yeah, good. Oh, Psycho continues out that forward here and he gets Rickles on the left here. He's trying to get a Zare, but unfortunately, here, Psycho will not follow through that one here. He gets the stock. Rickles looking for a quick boomerang. I'm sorry, bomb forward there, but he's not able to find one himself here. Back to a little bit more of the neutral scuffle here, but he gets the forward air. Arrow to stop the quick drop. Can Rickles get the forward smash? But unfortunately, for Psycho, the height is not enough for him. Yeah, no, absolute sniper <laughs> with that arrow. As Rickles is going to be able to take out that stock, the Aether not going to be enough to get back to the ledge. And now we're going to have to see if Rickles can find a way to continue to push some advantage here. But Psychod on the offensive, getting a little up air action to put on the 32%. And these guys just trading blows back and forth. Beautiful down tilt to the forward air as well. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, I'm sorry, that was a call out. <laughs> that was a call out. That definitely was a call out from Psychod. He said, hey, I don't really care what kind of Ike experience you've got. I'm built different. As he finds a way with that down smash to take out that final stock. After what looked like Brickle's controlling a large majority of the game there. Psychod just powering his way back. Uh, going up 1-0. Yeah, and... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not lost for words, man, because I, I was literally liking this Toon Link gameplay I was seeing from Rickles, but now I kind of want to call into question, will he switch out to Ganondorf? I'm not too familiar with how the matchup goes here, but Toon Link was looking to do pretty, pretty well. So if he switches or stays, you know, it's it's all within his thought process. But man, Psychon definitely is saying I am built different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but wow, man, yeah, that was that was definitely one hell of a comeback. Psychod just absolutely beat the hell out of him with those last couple stocks there. It looks like Rickles is going to stick with the Toon Link, probably just trying to get that engine revved up a little bit. Uh, was waiting a little while, but let's see if he can find a way to turn this around here. That game one was looking pretty good until Psychod just like, he's like, I've had enough. <laughs> so let's see if uh, Rickles can find a way to kind of keep that momentum and that tempo in his favor. Yeah. Oh, immediately you can tell that Psychot is on the strong offensive here. He's able to stop Rickles before he can even get the boomerang. Yeah, right now, pretty even percentages right 
Uh, real quick here, trading blows back and forth like usual. Great parry into the hero spin. Uh, Rickles off to a pretty good start there. Nice boomerang, gonna clip that quick draw. Nothing crazy though. Uh, Psychon's definitely gonna be able to get back to stage, but just that additional damage is just, uh, it's just pretty good. Yeah. Gets the dash second here. I like it. He's looking to see how Ripples is going to land. Typically speaking, you gotta be careful when you choose to land for instead of stage with the Because he can take away your stocks like so here. And he gets the back hit of the nuke. I'm sorry, yeah, the back hit of the nuke into the back air. And Psychod knows if you're not going to come to the stage, I can hit you towards the ledge. And I can take care of stocks and die with you. Oh, tried to go for a hero spin to call out that quick draw. Would have been beautiful. But Psychod getting it back to the stage just a little quicker than that. Here he goes, gonna get that Nair, another Nair. Not gonna get a third one though. Rickles finding a way out of that and gonna continue to put on some pressure with a forward air to send Psychot off stage, but he's gonna quick drop back to center, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> the forward air, nice. Looking for another neutral though. I like that play here and he catches Zulu in the air with an upper and he puts Rickles in such a scary situation as now Psychot takes a lot of the control here. At a few spots and the dash attack to take it here. Psychot has put Rickles in such a deficit here. Yeah, this is definitely a tough spot to be a ball. Beautiful call out with that up smash. Wow. Let's see if this uh, momentum for Rickles can find a way to turn this game around. But man, whoa, that, was a, that was a hell of a call. Holy. Yeah, I mean, you told him, man, you know, you can't roll from the ledge as much as you want. Man. It's not a free zone. Here we go. Yep, going to get that trade there on the forward air to the quick drop. We're going to be able to get back to ledge no problem. And Psychot, just as soon as he lands, just continues to be an absolute problem. And... Oh, wow, okay, he did make it back. What Good stuff keeping that jump. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff on Psycho to actually catch Rickles here on the line. Like, great spot dodge here, and he gets the A for all the way to the right platform for the extension. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a play. Yeah, that was super good stuff from Ike there, and Psycho as well. Uh, as soon as he got that Aether, drifted forward just a little bit to get that platform, to get that extra height to absolutely ensure the kill. Uh, Psycho is just playing like a psycho <laughs> let's be honest i'm I don't know, let's be honest man i'll put i'll point out the elephant in the room and he's really trying to make himself like you know what you may have raven king and ryuga here as one of the top some of the top acts man but uh make sure you don't forget my name i mean i i'm i'm gonna I'm remember psychot's name after this <laughs> i'll be honest Good yeah, stuff man. from Psychot though, but he does. It's not over yet. You are playing against Rickles. But he's a very talented player. Looks like he's gonna be sticking with the Toon Link and we're gonna be getting into our game three. So Rickles could absolutely turn this around. He's a very talented player. He's got a great mental for this, but Psychot looking so strong right now. Yeah. He's been doing an excellent job of just catching Rickles in situations where Toon Link would like to be advantageous of like throwing boomerang or throwing options. And he's able to just kind of catch him there in situations like when you see how he threw boomerang and he wants to be advantageous from the platform, but he kind of catches him from jumping in the other way and he gets the upper. And that put Rickles at literally around 33% with a few more interactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rickles doing a good job though, getting some of those boxing options in there. Uh, got that dash attack to up air, putting him up to a 36%. So you see uh, some of these projectiles coming into play here. Wow, great stuff actually meeting that forward air with a dash attack instead, beating it out. Went for the hero spin, not gonna be able to get it, but no punish, so not a bad call. I mean, worst case scenario is what we just saw. Like, he didn't get hit at all. Best case scenario is potentially take a stock. Yeah. Rickles doing a solid job here, trying to lock down the plane, but Psycho kind of like, that's the beauty of having Kalos, right? You would think a donor has a little bit more kind of space to run here, but in reality, it's more of Ike. He would have got away from platforms, and he punishes Rickles for trying to land on center stage. What an excellent play. Usually when you're getting juggled like that, you want to go back to the ledges, but what, against Ike, it's, it's kind of like a pick your own poison. Yeah, I mean, well, it's almost like Ike can zone himself with those big hitboxes. <laughs> that's how it feels sometimes. But yeah, you, you wouldn't expect to see that on Kalos, so... Very, very interesting stuff so far. He's just absolutely finding the right places for everything. But wow, gonna call out that quick draw with the bomb into the forward air as Rickles takes the early lead here. But sitting at 109, let's see if he can get some extra credit before Psychod potentially finds the stock. Yeah, I know I like that call out too because he pretty much spaced it out so perfectly to see where the quick draw was gonna land. Great neutral coming up from Psychod. I like that he waits to see where Rickles is gonna pick the option to see if he can punish him for one of those landings. Yeah, that was actually also a really good uh, landing option there as Rickles actually hit the hook shot and like right before uh, he lands to, uh, you know, he, instead of going for like a jab reset, just gets a dash attack to kind of pop him up there. Yeah. Nice. Double four tilt there. Four tilt rolls will be a safe move. Not that great on shield, but enough to kind of like hook a little bit at Psychot. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, he, he wanted the shield the there. Yeah. Yeah, he did. 
Yeah, oh, uh, but Rico's doing a good job getting this 69% uh, extra credit here. I mean, just playing this stock beautifully before he ended up losing it. Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, so we're not going to see another uh, conversion into the forward air. We're going to get the forward, at, forward air anyway. Uh, Rico's starting to find uh, his momentum, and it's it's working out. Yeah. Slowly but surely here, 122 to 18 percent here. So I thought I was up here in terms of below here in terms of percent here, because Rickle's the one who's slightly holding his lead. Yep, there oh, we go. That was great. great. Oh, great weight. Uh, probably expecting the air dodge, but regardless, was able to get that second uh, nair anyway. Ooh, gotta be careful. That Aether can do some damage. And I mean, Ike having as much race as he has, not gonna be able to get that either. Oh, he just barely could have missed. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I actually leaned forward for that forward tilt that I think Rickles wasn't able to get the grab. Yeah, yeah, he's doing really, really good job. That was a great touch too. Immediately going for the Aether, and now all of a sudden, from where Rickles was winning here, it's Psychon taking the lead here, and now up two stocks against one. Even with a raid as well here, Rickles knows that either I take care of the stock or he takes care of me. Nice. Able to get out of that grab here. Goes for neutral air into back air. Nice once more. Gets away from the grab yet again. Psychon is definitely sensing a lot of these two new options. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely been the story of Psychon so far. It's just he starts off not doing well in these, like, you know, last couple games or whatever. Or I don't know. Just, just it's weird. And then all of a sudden he just turns it on and it's like it's a different play. Like his big brother took the control. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Nice, use that double jump here, trying to see if they can sneak in the neutral, but he doesn't find himself very rare, and then Psychon gets the upper yet again. Rickles, where are you going to land? Watch yourself here, he's able to sneak in back a little bit towards center stage here, but he fights for it yet again here. Only, the only thing that's going to be Rickles if he keeps trying to fight for center stage here is going to be one of the night upper and possibly the game here with that dash attack. And Psychon, ladies and gentlemen, has made a name for himself here. Taking care of Rickles, 3-0. Yeah, Psychon uh, doing an amazing job there. Again, started off kind of rough in the beginning, but just found a place to turn it on. It just absolutely turned up on yeah, Rickles yeah. in that last game there. It was wild. Um, just beautiful Ike play all around. And actually going to be moving on to take on Ven here. So this is going to be a different type of game plan. It's going to be very interesting to see how Psychon tries to handle this. It, it's it's going to be tough for sure. Yeah. Psychod did a really good job up against Rickles. Definitely goes to show, like, every every Ike main and every Toon Link is built very, very differently. All right, well, hope everyone is having a good time tonight. This is some good ultimate action for sure. 